Today we are celebrating in Switzerland the coronation of Sri Rama on the Shera Day. Many things happened on the Shera Day. <coughs> the most important was that Sri Rama was coronated as a king on this day. He also killed Ravana on this day. Many may say that how can it be he killed Ravana and he was coronated on the same date. In those days in India, we had supersonic aeroplanes. <laughs> and is a fact, and the aeroplane's name was Pushpak, meaning the flower. It was called as Pushpak and it has a tremendous speed. So after killing Ravana, he came to Ayodhya with his wife and that was the day he was crowned. On the ninth day he worshipped the Goddess to get strength, Shakti for his weapons and the tenth day he killed Ravana. So you can imagine how much advanced people were there at the time of Sri Rama and his kingdom. The reason was the king was an incarnation, also he was a benevolent king as described by Socrates. <coughs> Sri Rama's story is very interesting throughout and we have now a beautiful series about him done by our television in India which is sold for a very good price. Maybe we might be able to present you all with one when you come there. <coughs> but the story of Rama, they say, was written before he was born. Even before there was any inkling of it, the seer, Valmiki, wrote the whole story of Sri Rama. Sri Rama's birth and all that are brought forth by the Agni, the fire. And he was born in the dynasty of the Surya, is the sun. So with all that, it born out of the blessings of the Agni, that is fire, and also was born in the dynasty of Surya. He was one of the mildest avatars you have ever had. He is known to be a very I mean, English language, formal person in the sense, <laughs> some coach, that he would go to any extent to bear upon himself the problems than to tell others to do something. <coughs> we still had many people in India like that, like we had one Prime Minister, Lal Bahadur Shastri. And if he was sitting in the room and there are people sitting and this electricity was on somehow, say by <coughs> light or something and he wants to put it off, he would not ask anyone to put it off. Slowly he'll get up in the, from his seat, walk up to the switch and just put it off so that he shouldn't ask for it. This is one of the greatest quality of Sri Ram that he would not make anyone do anything for him or order anything or would use someone for their purpose. See, he was the, was the blessing of fire and born in the Surya, 
But what we find, those people who are born maybe in very lowly families, in the negative families, the left-sided as you can call it, with all kinds of problems, have a terrible agya and a terrible surya in them. The person who is born in the surya has to be extremely humble. He is the one who shows that nothing can affect, nothing can make him feel that he is something great. 